Hello humans, welcome back to my makeup room. My name is Martha, if you're new, and today is going to be a roulette pan collab update. And I gotta say, it's a good one. Four out of the six products are being rolled out. Can you believe it? I surely can't. Okay, let's get started. Four products are going. We have my face mask. This is the Ula Hendrickson Cold Plunge Pore Mask. I wanted to use half of this up. We started out up here, followed by there at my last update, and I used this much this time. So I'm very excited to have some solid progress on this mask, and now I can move on to other things. Next up, we have a pan. This is the Kaja Bento Box. Kaja Beauty Bento Box in rose water. There will be a photo of where we were last time. And this is where we are today. It's hard to see because it's so shiny, but there is a nice pan in the middle. Very excited. I really liked using this eyeshadow. It was very nice. It's kind of like a beige, but with a bluey sparkle. Loved it. I loved it. Next we have my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. Now, this will be a bit confusing. This is where we are. I wanted, uh, the lipstick had a point. You know how lipsticks have the points to put on your lips. I wanted to flatten that out completely so it was flush with the cap. And it may not be perfect, but it's pretty darn close enough for me. So this one is being rolled out as well. I was mostly using this as a cream blush under my foundation. That's how I used it up so quickly. But use is use. Now the last item we are rolling out is an item I just rolled in last month. This is the Viseart Paris Edit Eyeshadow Palette. I wanted to hit pan on one of these shades. And it's a bit of a funny pan, but in this mauve metallic in the very edge. I don't know how it happened, but that's where my brush dipped. There, I think you can see it there. It's not side pan, it is entirely side pan and base pan. So I thought that was pretty exciting. So that one's being rolled out. My goodness, how did I manage that? I don't, I don't know. Well, the pan is very shallow, but anyways. Now, we have two items staying in the project that show progress, maybe. <laughs> this is my NARS uh, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Oslo. My goal is to get down to the top of the N for NARS, and I am getting there. I'm getting there. Next month is the month. I promise I will get it down to that N marking. Very, very excited. So it's slow going, but I was trying to use up two foundations. And so hopefully with my focus on this one, I'll be able to get there, no problem. Now, the disappointing product of today is the Dose of Colors Lip Liner in the shade Snappy. So I'm marking it on the cap here. So last update we were here, and I'll be honest, there's no movement. I've only used it once and that day is today. But as you can see, there's just so little product that over the next, is it three months? I think I might be able to do some damage. Maybe, I hope, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Now we get to our roll-ins. And I think I'm missing something. Let me check my list. Ah, yes. Now, I have already rolled and chosen my products, which is a good thing because one of the prompts, let's start with that one, was a product, someone else's pick. A pet, a kid, boyfriend, etc. So someone else had to pick my product. And my puppy is very small and eats everything and I did not want to see what happened if I laid out some makeup for her to like sniff. So 
we went with my husband and he's usually not home when I'm filming these updates. So I, I sent him some pictures of some possible things that I could choose. And I decided to choose my tiny Marvels. I, no, he decided to choose, my goodness. The Tiny Marvels palette by Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson, which I am not upset by. This is a new palette to me. I've used it a handful of times and I did my eye swatch video. Maybe I'll link that down below. Um, and and this is this is the palette. So I don't know what I want to do, but I do want to try and hit pan on one of these. I don't know. I don't know how that'll work. I'm gonna have to use a bit of playing around, but this one, and then we're going to also use prompt number 97, a product with, pack with packaging that inspires you, which is one of my Kaleidos Futurism palettes. Let's just unfurl the beauty of this packaging and the products inside. These are lovely, they're beautiful. So I'm either gonna try and hit pan on, these are really deep, so I don't think that's gonna be possible, but one of these beige shades, this one has the least amount of, I mean, this one has the bigger dip, or this little purple lavender shimmer. I'm gonna do a couple of swatches here, just so we can see, and then we can compare with the Tiny Marvels and sort of choose, see what happens. I will say I like that purple better. So I can't, I'm not gonna torture myself. I wanna choose a matte from one and a shimmer from the other. So obviously the shimmer contender is that purple. And I'm thinking Fire Butts is the shimmer contender here. And then Tree Hopper or Walking Stick or Jewel Bee, the purple could go with that lavender. Okay, let's take a look. I'm drawn to Love Bug, but I was just panning a whole mauve look. Well, I was painting that mauve in the Viseart palette and I don't want to get stuck on mauves again because I was wearing all mauves when I was doing that. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is so pretty, so pretty. This is a struggle. And these mattes don't really go with Love Bug either. Disappointing. Okay, what else have we got? What else have we got? Ooh, Love Bug just got maybe a little bit of hard pan. That could be dangerous. Crap. But it doesn't really go anyways. Okay, I've decided. I'm gonna go with the nude shade here in the Kaleidos palette. And Fire Butt in Sydney Grace. That's what we're doing. If I change my mind, we'll find out at the next update. Next, we have a product you received as a gift. That was number 50. Now, I'll be honest. Nobody's ever given me the gift of makeup. Maybe once when I was like 13. All of the makeup in my collection, I have bought myself. My husband hasn't bought me makeup. None of my friends have bought me makeup. This is, it's fine. I've paid for it, whatever. So I decided to go with uh, something that I bought as a gift to myself. <laughs> and that would be a cool gift. And that's the Natasha Denona Love Glow Cheek Palette. There she is there. So if you've seen this before, we have a cream, two very sparkly blushes, and a highlight that is too dark for me. So my goal for this cheek palette is to use it 20 times before the finale. I'm being ambitious. 20, 20. And finally, the final product we are adding in was number 16, a green or clean beauty product. And I am making this one easy on myself. I went on the, my, <laughs> My parameters for clean or green beauty was to go on the Sephora website and look in the green section. I don't remember what the section was called. It's like the clean at Sephora section. One of the major brands in there was Bite. And I have a Bite product here that I was willing to toss in the project. 
This is the Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer for normal to dry skin. I have not used this before. I think I have swatched it, but it is full. It is five mils. This I think was a Sephora sample from like a code. So we're gonna work on this and I'm pretty optimistic about this one. But I gave myself some challenges with the eyeshadows, so I wanted to throw in something easy. And there we have the update. All the information about this project will be linked down below, as well as the playlist of everyone else participating in this project. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. Ring the bell to become a Pavlovian dog, and I'll see you next time. Bye.